So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add this into my harpoon. Now I'm gonna go to now I have also templates. So this is something I kind of used to have, but now I actually have it. You can see that it's reading these files, which are MC function. So it's gonna so I don't have to write them in Python. I can get the Visual Studio Code syntax highlighting and all the fancy stuff. So now where it all begins, it begins from the base class. And all I'm doing right now is just explaining what already exists, not what I'm going to do. So it just pr this is the pretty print that is happening right here. So it has a unit, a specific unit ID. It has certain properties. So for example, every block has a name. It has the block states, etc. Properties are the thing. Which, by the way, I'm gonna add this to Harpoon too. So properties are the thing that I define here. So space, sound, pacing, recipe, all of that. Now, this is just like a useful uh, function from Beat, which transforms bubble bench and, and names that look alike to bubble bench, which is exactly what I need. Then you have set properties, which all it does, it just has the properties. I'm not sure why it's OOP, but it returns self, so it's kind of better. You have read property, which I copy pasted from Stack Overflow. Uh, all it does is, if you have a property, so for example, uh, name that other name, all it does is just guess this property in Python. It, is, it seems to work, and I don't complain. It looks horrific though. Now, property is just, if you want to get the base of the block, well, what you do is you do say, prop and then the base, for example. You can also provide the default value, for example, nothing. Then you have allocate IDs, which is the functions that I use. By default, it just returns one. Repair, which is the, now, all of the blocks, they go through a preparation. But all of the blocks, they go from preparation stage and then compile. Now, the reason this stage exists is because, for example, variants. So if it's a block, then this all goes together. But for example, I have a variant and I want to repeat that preparation for all of the different types. So, it, so this is just allows me to put something else before I compile. So this is what it does. By default, it just returns itself. It doesn't do anything at all. And compilation, all it does is assigns the unit ID, repairs, and then uh, where the real magic happens. So this is the block. Now I have a helpful class here called block data, which is where I store all of the enums and data classes, which help me just define what I want my blocks to be. So it's more of a technical part. Then you have block type that I already showed and finally the block. So this is the thing. So all it does, it just returns how many different block states it has or one. Right, so if there are no block states, there is at least one ID that it needs to take. Then you can just assign the category of the block and then compile. Uh, it's hard to see because of my screen keys. Uh, but all it does right now is nothing. Right, It just returns itself. It just compiles and it returns. It does nothing. Then you have item does nothing and variant does nothing so currently nothing is ever happening anywhere now first thing i want to do is create a place function for this block so i'm gonna self and then i want to make a function and uh, then the path is gonna be place then the namespace 
which can you, you can hardly see because of the sh screen key some which I'm gonna put on top so that it's easier for me to see what I'm writing. So namespace and then the name of the block. Now the body of the function is gonna take the place template and I think that's pretty much all. It cannot access member yet because I haven't made it. So let's made it, make it. Um, I'm gonna create it right here. So it's gonna be make functions, make function. I'm gonna take an, a key and then the lines, which is a list of strings. Now, I forgot to define self, which is just Python thing. I'm gonna look for uh, three functions that are called this way. Now, if this function does, was not defined before, all it's gonna do is just set it to be the function. Oh, also, I need to add uh, lines and then tags, which is gonna be an optional. So it's by default just zero, no tags. So function, a new line, separate it with new lines, and then tags are just tags. They seem to not complain about anything, so now you have if original is none, right? That's all it's gonna do. Then if it isn't, then it's gonna merge them together. So what it's gonna do is gonna take the function, create a new function, which is separated with new lines, which is gonna just take line no lines. And before that, it's going to insert original lines, right? So it's obviously it needs to have uh, the star, which basically means it's unwrap them, unwrap them. And then tags, uh, I guess I can merge them together as well. So it's going to be uh, original tags and then these tags. Now, the problem with this is that it's going to be probably have duplicates. Oh, I have to surround this with quotes, with, uh, I mean, with uh, parentheses and then say, or like this. Okay. I don't like how it formatted, so I'm going to format it manually. Um, this looks good. Now, this might have duplicates, but I don't really care because I, I don't think I'm going to ever uh, run into this, but if I am, I, I'll know how to fix it. So good luck to the future developers. So yeah, I think this looks good. Okay, so now what I can do... Right, so what I'm gonna say is that it should be a list of base. Now, this is horribly... It doesn't understand what's happening, so... I don't know if I can just test it without caring much. I can, which is perfect. So now, instead, what I'm going to do is, for every tree, right, so for every tree, I'm going to show the tree, which is, by the way, this is, this should not be called trees. Instead, it can be called something like units, right? And then you have this, uh, wrong, wrong key rename the unit so now you can see the real deal which is unreadable so I'm gonna only show functions okay this is still unreadable so what I'm gonna do is just make it like this now uh, obviously I need to surround it with parentheses and it doesn't work because oh because I have to change this to be an str. Okay, now I can see it. Okay, so you can see that it created a function place, and inside you have function spawn all of the content from the template that I have created over here. So this is this is working perfectly as I planned. Now let's go back. This is where I create blocks. And now I'm gonna add this to Harpoon as well. So this is fine, right? So it doesn't format them though. So 
uh, wrong one. So if we go to here, I can say that key is format the key, which now I'm going to create a format method, which is going to be return a string. What's going to return is uh, the key, which is actually like, like a string. So it's going to and it's gonna re replace name with the actual name of the block. Right, so now it you can see that it's replaced with radiator pipe surveillance camera. Seems to work fine. Now it doesn't work here though. So what I'm gonna do is say that lines are format every single line. Now this is the functional method. The, the functional method of doing it in Python, which it looks stupid, but this is the way I have to do this. So it looks, it works. Now the only thing that doesn't change in namespace, which I'm gonna do later outside of the block, because it's something that blocks shouldn't care about. It's not none of their business, let's call it this way. So yeah, this seems to work. So now you can place them, kinda. That there is a beginning for that. Now next thing you need to do is give them. So I'm gonna just create the same function, which is gonna be give namespace name. However, I mean you can give items too. So maybe it's better to move it all the way here. So instead of compile add some spaces here it's gonna be this and then give template uh, can I import it automatically? no because it doesn't know what I'm talking about ok so the way it looked like is this so it says generated loot table because I'm just gonna copy paste it basically I'm gonna create a give.mc function Which is just gonna have this. Now obviously namespace should be namespace and the block name should be dynamic too. Now I might actually just add this too on top. So if I just do this and move it up, I can now copy this and add it over here too and over here. Just so that it's clear for everybody who isn't looking at this code. And just add it over here. So I need to change it to give template. Right? So now I can just change this to give. It seems this should work. So now let's try to import again. Now it does work. Perfect. So now you can give. Let's see if it works. And yes, you can give padlock. Now there are also there is also help and spawn, which I'm gonna need to implement right now. So I mean you can get help for both items and blocks. So I'm gonna create here just a help of name and then help template doesn't exist, which I mean it, it doesn't have to. So all, all I have to do is just say fail row. Maybe without the formatting. So tail row and then for format it over here. So you know what I'm just gonna copy paste what I used to have before. Okay, so now what I can do is just format it with the get with documentation, right? Uh get documentation, right? So like this. This should be good. If I look at it, help. Yeah, it does work. So it, it does transfer it to tail raw, which is exactly what documentation should be. Which here, this is an unreadable horrible mess. Now it is spawn. Now the difference between give and spawn is in the name. So it's gonna be just spawn 
here, like this. So there's gonna be all of the difference. So I can go over here and just copy this, change it, spawn, and then change this to spawn, which I need to import, which I need to find first. Right, which is uh, spawn, right, and then spawn. Save this, go back, import, now it works. So now I have give, spawn, which does look fine, help, and place only for blocks. So you can see items don't have that, which is exactly what it needs to be. This whole time it uses this loot table, and now I need to actually create this loot table. Which I'm gonna do inside of the base again. So it's gonna be a new loot table. Which I can't create right now. I need to define it first. Define. Now. Make loot table. Which is going to take a key. And I don't have to merge anything. Because I can only have one loot table. And merging loot tables is going to probably end up being bad. So it's going to be just data. And that's it. I'm not gonna return anything. So just sell free loot tables. E equals a new loot table from beat. It just contain data. I think that's it. It's really simple. So I just create a loot table. Call it. Uh, what was it? Name space followed by the block slash name now the problem is that yeah this the problem is that i don't want to have i don't want it to be block so i'm gonna call it like something like uh, type or group right so blocks or items so in here where it prepares so it doesn't prepare anything right now which is bad so it's gonna override uh override Prepare, all right, which is somehow messed up. And what does prepare do? Nothing. Yes, it. So just return nothing. Then no point. So what does it need to? Do? Oh no, actually, it needs to set properties. All right. So this is something I'm just gonna copy paste. Yeah, what it has is has an ID, a name, which for blocks is just the same, but for variations it's gonna be oak, spruce, etc. I want ID to not represent the material, so it's just the name without the material. Then this I'm not sure I'm gonna keep. Uh, probably I don't need this. A base item is what is gonna apply the custom model data to, documentation. Uh, I don't need this, I, I think. I already have the method for it, yeah. Then unit. Oh, I, oh, I called it unit, so I'm gonna find the group. Not this one, not this one either. Oh, I think it's, it wasn't here, it was here. Yeah, so it's gonna be called unit. Right, so now I go back where I was, which is here then the pass and then everything just copy it without worrying about anything great it prepares now let's see if it compiles it does now the thing is i still have to change the format the key so it's going to be self format key and then in format i need to add also replace uh group with self property of group oh i call this unit. I, uh, unit right so let's see if it works none objects has no attribute tree replace arguments must be string not none 
which it returns block oh the reason it doesn't work is because items have no properties yeah so by default it's gonna be unknown which i'm gonna make it more clear that it's a default value i'm gonna format it as well now i don't like this formatting so i'm just gonna make it like this so yeah now you have block and it seems to be where is it help oh i'm only i'm only printing out loot tables so it's um, i mean functions so yeah it's all says unknown which is bad why exactly it says unit block so it says the properties I think the reason is because it compiles before it prepares. It needs to self-prepare. Maybe like this. So it prepares and then it compiles. So yeah, now it kind of works. So you can see that some are blocks and some are not really. Unknown, unknown. So this is the actual loop table which I need to make. Right, so, I mean, I guess I can just copy the this and apply the same for a single item. Now I need to import the override. I need to import self. So it's going to be an, an item and it's going to be this. So it needs to be dependent, so I need to self read property base argument missing for parameter default, which is gonna be a um, structure void, which by the way needs to have this. Okay. So maybe like this is good. Let's see if it works. Yeah, you can see the item now displays correctly. So what I'm gonna do is just say a give to that pie uh, or like loot which is gonna be a loot tem uh, template is equals to an npt like this which by the way again I can't really see so it's going to be a loot table and the best way is to copy paste again. Now it is going to not work, which is fine. So you have roles, entries, it's an item frame. Now, no, not now inside of this is going to be called base. Oh, I, I used this. Then the functions. It's an item base uh, unit and then the name. This seems good. Use a loot template. Now it says an error somewhere, which is just that I need to update my LSP. Now it works. This is, I can kind of see it, it works. Uh, it doesn't replace namespace, etc. Can I make it look better than this? If I fold this part, then fold, wait, fold this part, as I fold this part, does this look better or not? Oh, it doesn't care what how it looks. Okay. So it's gonna replace uh, item base with self prop. Item base. I'm not sure if this is correct. Let's see. Base item. Okay, so base item. Right, so base item. Oh, it does format it properly once there are another of them. Okay. If you think that I can read this, then you are overestimating my abilities. This is 
so hard to read. But yeah, I guess it uh, it I guess it works. It is a, an item frame. So I think the next step is to make this actually generate files. Okay, I guess we can end here.